Hi, Susan for SLC Aquatics, coming to you with an update on my outside ponds. We just went through a little cool snap. We got a couple more days to go, so come along with me and see what actually has happened. Wow, I cleaned the filter media out. The pre-filter was clogged up with snails and small debris, so off to a clean start again. Look at the wave action. I think it's a 980 GPH, but I don't know. I wanted to show you my mint green guppy. That's the F2. There's F1, the siding. And I've got a couple fry in here that are hard to see. Several big females and some juvies growing up. Oh, there's a couple fry. They actually came over with the uh, guppy grass. <laughs> This is my DIY coffee filter, Suzy Q and others, but it's not connected right now because this one actually gets clogged a lot. So I've got to work with the media that's on the inside of it a little bit more. But this one's working. This one's been working for, this is the second year now. And I just have slits in the lid. I have a hose with a, um, a valve shut on, shut off. See, I do have larger tubing in it, and it goes to the, um, I think, 1200 GPH pump. And I have just a little tube on top for a little water action and aeration. There's my sponge filters in the back. That's all I got going on in here. Keeps the water clear. That's a hide. That's another coffee can that's a hide. This brick actually uh, cave needs to be enlarged because they're growing quite fast. I don't know if you can tell it or not, but from one inch little feeders, now they're about five inches long. And some of them have a girth on it that makes me think about a little pig. Here's my little, uh, my little froggies. There's no fish in here. But there's java moss, hornswort, duckweed. There is a little bit of eco-complete substrate, so I could plant some plants down in there, which I need to do. And um, I think that's a 480 pump that just gives me a little surface agitation. But I may put some more fish in it later. Don't know yet. But that's the update on my ponds. Um, everybody did well overnight. It got colder than I thought, but I do have the heater, and the heater, of course, fell to the bottom, so I'm not worried about sucking it back to the side of the wall. It's not going to stay up. And um, another viewer of mine suggested putting a tarp over it in the evening when the sun's setting, so that will help keep the heat in. It is going down to like 60 degrees tonight and then Friday morning or Thursday now it, it's, it came in a day earlier they're saying Thursday down to 55 so I will definitely cover this 40 gallon tub with a tarp to help keep the heat in so I don't lose any guppies and then we're back to 90 degree days and 70 degree nights so whew, I made it through that one see ya all right, I thought I'd put myself on film just a little bit so y'all can see that I'm still alive. Um, so much going on at work, so much going on in the house. We about got things under control in the house. And um, at the church, I'm selling old merchandise to try to build up funds for some new video equipment. And I will be the next director, producer of our videos for television and li I'm already doing the live streaming and um, so
so I don't know if y'all want to hear about that or not. So far, I'm going to stay in the sound booth, but as things get heavy, I'm going to migrate up to the balcony where I can have more privacy and because uh, the people love them some Susan <laughs> and they just won't leave us alone while we're working. But anyway, life goes on and soon I will be back with you on my live streams and I'm hoping to edit this today and get it up on my channel for those of you that love me and support me so faithfully. Um, I will see you soon. Probably another couple more weeks. Love you. Susan for SLC Aquatics.